All right, guys, continuing on with our QRC uh, how to build here, and we're ready for the steering column and the steering post with Brandon Lachance. Brandon, let's take a look at what we need and what we got going on here on the table. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go into our tools needed. So we'll use a 7 16 wrench, two half inch wrenches, two 9 16 wrenches, three 16 Allen, as well as a 5 30 second Allen. And then uh, right here we have our steering column, which is uh, the steering post with pitman arm, and then two collar locks, as well as our steering block and a hub nut but right here we already have one preset to length um, but basically that's what you'll see in result in that department and then right here we have a 3 8 bolt same size as the uh, spindle spacers um, that we will use through the pitman arm to attach the two tie rods we have the steering post and then our two bolts which are actually the same size as the master cylinder so then we go into our uh, steering post fork which will attach to the steering block and then our knee guard and a rubber grommet as well as the hardware for that. Sounds good, let's do it. All right, we got our tools, we got our pieces. What's next? All right, we'll grab our steering post as well as the bolts to go through it. So insert the steering post into the frame. Right here we had to scuff it up a little bit for persuasion. We'll run that thing all the way down. Two bolts. Two bolts. Grab our nuts and two half inch wrenches. And I believe this is the 12 and a half inch steering post. We have a couple different sizes here for different size drivers. And then right here, we just want to snug up these two bolts. We don't need to smash the two, but tight enough to where we have no wiggle room. We have seen guys in the past, right, who have those bolts come loose so they didn't tighten them right and they're driving around the racetrack with no steering yeah, post. We want to avoid that, but yes. a nice quality deal. And then we'll take the steering post fork and we'll place that in for now. All right, perfect. I got our steering post in. Now it's time for the steering shaft. All right, we'll grab the steering shaft as well as this bolt. We'll take the steering shaft and place this in through the molly ball. Place that there real quick. And we'll put the steering block in between the steering post fork and the bolt in that way, as well as put the nut on. We'll leave that loose as we'll grab the 3 bolt right here and we'll get into... This is a super important part, right? Uh, yes, it's very important. Be sure that you get these tie rods on the right side. So the right side tie rod will be on the bottom. We'll take this bolt, slide it through. I like to put two washers here just to keep space from steering hanging up on the pitman arm. So we'll go bolt, hymen, two washers. We'll go through the bottom hole here. Pretty neutral setup. We'll go two more washers and we'll do the left side tie rod over the top. And we'll take that nut, we'll put it on. And we'll get some tools to tighten all this stuff up. And this is one of those things that, like I said, we get a lot of calls here asking about which way the tie rods go on the pitman arm. So this should hopefully clear things up for a lot of people. So we'll tighten up this bolt super snug. You can see our steering shaft is still loose. But we'll go to our 316 Allen and a half inch wrench. We'll tighten up this bolt. But we are not done after this. Now we will grab our 532nd Allen. We'll set the height of the shaft blocks and as well as, so the biggest thing here is we need to keep a gap off of the floor pan. That way we aren't rubbing that bolt on the bottom. So if you keep, give yourself about a finger, about half of a finger almost space from the floor pan. And we go up to the shaft blocks with our 532nd Allen. It takes a little finesse here. Two man job done by one person. So we'll snug that up. We'll check our height down here and see we get full rotation without dragging on the floor pan. And then we'll go to our second shaft block and we'll just snug that up like that. And you want to make sure both those are up against the post fork, right? In the block? Correct. Okay. And we have no play right there and then we're tight there. Nice. And we get full rotation out of our steering. Awesome. Looks great. And the final part here to step six with the uh, steering column and all that stuff is our knee guard here. So we'll take our hardware, rubber grommet, and knee guard, and our 532nd Allen, and our 716th wrench, and we'll go to the car. 
And this um, is a pretty controversial deal right here. We've seen a lot of comments on Facebook and pictures of people putting the knee guard in and it Very being a different so. direction. There are two ways and I don't think there's a right or a wrong way, but we'll put the bolt through that way. We'll take the rubber grommet and what I've been told and change to do, put it on in this direction. We'll find our hole here. And we'll match it up. Actually, this is a good time to get a guest in right here. We got Casey McLean. Casey, what way do you believe that <laughs> knee guard should go? Oh, man. It feels better on the knees running it that way, but I think it looks cooler going the other way. Correct. As I was told by a late great person that this is the way it should go, I personally run it the other way, but there we have a full steering assembly. So we'll go into an overview. We have our steering post, uh, our steering post fork, our whole steering shaft assembly and really big is the direction of the tie rods so we have that right there and steering's complete all right guys step six is complete we'll be back here for step seven